And as Mohammed did mention just there, Lebanon has the largest number of Syrian refugees, almost 850,000. Both Turkey and Jordan have taken in more than a half million refugees, and Iraq, more than 200,000. As the numbers grow, the UN Refugee Agency faces an uphill struggle to provide aid, to provide basic needs for people. Its appeal is for almost $3 billion. It says it still needs almost a billion. Joining me in the studio now is Mohammed Abu Asakar. He's a spokesman for the UN Refugee Agency. And um, I did want to talk to you about this because back in September of 2012, I visited uh, one of these refugee camps in Jordan, uh, the Zatari camp. And back then, uh, your ambassador there and the head of the UNHCR was appealing, saying, we just don't have enough resources or money to deal with this number of refugees. How much worse has it gotten in a year's time? Uh, thanks, Sarah. A year ago, uh, we had 400,000 Syrian refugees registered with the UN UNHCR. Today, after one year and after 1,000 of the struggle inside Syria, we are talking about 2.3 million Syrian refugees registered with the UNHCR. This is a very shocking figure. And this is only the registered when the, while the unregistered refugees are much higher. So the, the situation is getting, getting worse and the, the needs are increasing. So we're talking about the largest humanitarian uh, crisis in the 21st century. So it's beyond one organization's capacity. It's beyond a state capacity. You can imagine the burden on the neighboring countries. We are very thankful for them keeping their borders open. So when we are talking about Syrian refugees, we are talking about 76% of them are women and children. The children beyond the age of 18 represent 52% among all the Syrian refugees. So we are talking about a generation losing hope of young generation because they are out of schooling. Half of children in the school age are out of schooling. The polio is an epidemic disease that is getting wide in all the region. Polio Among, is, is spreading. And this, yes. is, this is a disease that most countries have eradicated, and here it's come back to make the situation even worse. I want to ask you who you're making the appeal to. Are you talking to governments? Are you talking about other agencies, other groups? Are you talking just to everyday people like me and you um, to, to give money? How do people help? Uh, today, we appeal for uh, $6.5 billion. It's the largest appeal in history for the United Nations in one, er, in one crisis in a year. And for asking this money, because we're talking about the largest crisis in history. And when we are appealing, we are appealing governments, companies, individuals, normal people, everybody can help. Anybody and everybody. Anybody. And this money will go to IDPs inside Syria, mm -hmm. refugees outside Syria, and local communities because we, not, we need to support, we need to provide infrastructure, we need to build a new classes, we need to provide a, a, a medical equipment for, for the community to, to support, to continue the support for the Syrian refugees. So we are asking every individual watching us right now to get access to the website of UNHCR, www.unhcr.org. And there is a Syrian appeal. They can donate online. And all money goes to Syrian refugees directly. We give zero money to governments. So we asking everybody to help us to help the Syrian refugees in the, 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 dif the most difficult time. And that donation is timely. We're talking right. about snow yep. and we're talking about their bodies are trembling while I'm talking to you. And we've seen the pictures. They don't have enough clothes. Some of the children don't even have pants, no shoes. We thank you so much, and I'm sure that people will start looking at this again. I, I think what's happened over the years, it's almost been three years of fighting, and a lot of people have started to close their eyes. It's too much for them, but hopefully this appeal will go somewhere so that the refugees can get some much-needed help. We appreciate you coming on the show.